Shanghai residents woke up to tighter housing market rules on Tuesday. The city's government has issued new market restrictions in an attempt to cool the real estate market. Our reporter Hunan was there to hear directly from potential home buyers, realtors, and an industry analyst to find out what possible influence the restrictions might have on the market. The new restrictions in Shanghai's housing market says the down payment for first-time home buyers should be at least 35 percent from the previous 30 percent. For second-time home buyers, the down payment remains at 50 percent for ordinary apartments and 70 percent for luxury units. It looks like a moderate policy. However, the definition of second-time home buyers makes the new restrictions the strictest ever in China. For the first time, Shanghai's housing market restrictions are expanding their scope. If you possess a real estate unit or you have a mortgage record anywhere in China, your house purchase in Shanghai will be considered and classified as your second home. So the minimum down payment may rise from 30 percent to 70 percent on this new second home. Why is the Shanghai government taking the condition of real estate markets in other cities into account? It implies that a national real estate network may have been established already, as well as a bank loan and mortgage database. So the investment capitals might be monitored now. In my opinion, other hotspot cities like Beijing and Shenzhen will follow the suit. It says Shanghai home buyers can enjoy the 35 percent down payment only if you have no real estate registered under your name and have never gotten a housing loan in China. That actually rules out the great majority of Shanghai home buyers. About 90 percent of home buyers within the middle ring or the downtown area, and over 60 percent within outer ring. Or urban area of former homeowners buying bigger homes to improve their housing conditions, so the new restrictions will greatly depress the market. Just like Mr. Jiang, he just sold his former apartment and was planning to use the money as down payment for a bigger home for his family and newborn baby. He was aiming for a one million U.S. dollar apartment the day before the implementation of the restrictions. It's like a bolt from the blue. I got house loan for my first home, so now I have to prepare like seven hundred thousand dollars down payment for the apartment I was going to buy. That's impossible. I can't even afford to buy a place similar to my old home. Because housing prices have skyrocketed recently. Rising prices, stricter lending criteria, and the purchasing restrictions have tempered growth for the short term. That's for sure. However, experts say the aim of these strictest ever restrictions is to squeeze out investment-oriented capital to curb soaring prices, maintain market stability, and boost the real economy. Hunan, CCTV, Shanghai.